Hi, good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Norris. Um, if you're watching this in the year 2020, it is Monday, the day after our Thanksgiving break. So because we are coming back from a week long vacation, those of us who are caught up are going to be working on a review activity, um, a web quest activity that's going to review the um, history of the US Constitution to bring us back to that space for learning about the Constitution and why it was written. So before we get started, let's take a look at our know, understand, and do the expectations for completing this activity. So by the time that we're done with this web quest, you should be able to answer these questions. Why do we have the government that we do? How do you form a government? And how did the Constitution guard against tyranny? Because if you remember right now at this point in our learning, what we're working on is our DBQ to answer that last final question, how did the Constitution guard against tyranny? I'd like you to be able to understand um, or further your understanding with this WebQuest activity that the Constitution created a Republican form of government based on the consent of the governed that was strong enough to hold the states and the people together without letting any one group, person, branch, or level of government gain too much control. Because if you remember, we just ended the American Revolution to gain our independence from Britain. We saw King George as a tyrant, and we didn't want to return to what we had just fought to be against. Okay. So what you're going to be doing with this review activity is you're going to be using a web page. The link is there. It's also placed within the document a number of times to research the history of the U.S. Constitution. And then you're going to use that information to complete a web quest. So a review of the web quest is right here below for you. So as you can see, um, where there's a restatement of our know, understand, and do. Here's a link to the website there. Also, each page has a link to the website up at the top here or on the next page down at the bottom here and then on the final page up at the top here. And you can see there are text boxes where you will erase the information that's already in the text box and type your own answer based on what you find from this web page. Okay. So that is how to, let's take a look at it in depth. All right. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to my student version of this activity. And probably the best thing to do would be to split your screen screen, excuse me. So I'm going to click and drag my screen. So it's about halfway. And before I do anything else, I'm going to change my first and last name here. Oops. Sorry, typing, typing on the wrong thing. Okay, and then I'm also going to change my class period here. Okay, so if you can pause this tutorial and then do those two things for me, change your first and last name and class period and then return to this tutorial. All right, so you've just changed your first and last name and the class period. Let's move on to the next step. So again, our KUDs are here and then the link to the web page is here. So I'm going to click right click on it. And then I'm going to um, open the link. And I'm going to move this over to the other side. Okay. So I'm just going to click got it to get rid of that. And then I'm going to use this website to answer the questions that are on the next three slides. So for example, what is the highest form of law in the country? So I'm going to read this here and it says the constitution is the framework for the federal government of the United States. It is the highest form of law in the country. There's my answer right there. So I'm just going to double click. And I'm going to start typing oops, the Constitution. That's all I have to say. So the next question, the Constitution creates, creates the branches of blank, protects the blank, the United States, and guarantees their basic blank. So I'm going to continue reading. It says the Constitution creates the branches of government. So I'm going to change that. The Constitution creates the branches, branches of government. Okay, protects the okay branches of government and gives them the power to govern. However, it also protects the citizens. In fact, I'm going to 
cut right that whole piece there. It says the Constitution creates the branches of government and gives them the power to govern and gives them the power to govern, okay? Protects the, and I just read it, protects the citizens, okay, of the United States and guarantees their basic rights. Very easy here. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue reading on the page the information to help me to answer the rest of these questions. And it's as simple as that. So once this activity has been completed, I'm going to go back to my assignment page and down at the bottom, I'm going to, if I have to do this here, open and submit my work. Okay, and that's all. So um, again, please, the best way to complete this activity is to open to Windows. Please make sure that you change your first and last name and class period. And then all you need to do is um, double click and then type your answers in the space. Now, if something happens and you accidentally delete a text box, you have two things that you can do. You can either undo immediately after you delete the text box. And if you undo immediately after you delete the text box, the text box will reappear. Or you can click on a text box of similar size, copy and paste it in the spot where you lost that text box, okay? So again, if you accidentally delete, there are options for you to get those text boxes back, all right?